Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Sheeran has entered the building. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. What's going on guys? And welcome to episode 3 of our hybrid research. Last time we've created the Ankylodicus, which is a hybrid cross between the Ankylosaurus and the Diplodocus and it will most likely be our largest creature in the entire facility. But in today's video, we're going to be focusing on one of the more dangerous hybrids. We are going to be working on a hybrid called the Spinoraptor. A creature that combines the DNA of Spinosaurus and, listen to this, Utah Raptor. The reason I'm using Utah Raptor instead of Velociraptor is because in Jurassic World the game, where the hybrid originally came from, it was a combination of Spinosaurus and Utah Raptor. So, in today's video, we're going to be creating the Spinosaurus, the Utah Raptor, and the Spinoraptor. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to split this enclosure into three. This big enclosure we've got going on here, we're gonna split it into three separate enclosures. This might be good enough for the Utah Raptor, or the Spino Raptor even. So this will probably be where the Utah Raptors go, this will be where the Spinos go, and this will be where the Spino Raptors go. So, let's get the enclosure ready. All right, so we got that going. I've got three separate enclosures. Let's put this over here for the Utah Raptors. All right, so let's start off with the Utah Raptors. So they should be all the way down here. There they are, Utah Raptor. So we got that. Let's randomize the genome. Modify it as much as we can. So this is how it's looking so far. It's looking pretty good. We got the Ankylodocus, Stegoceratops, and now we're working on the Spinoraptor. So let's release Utah Raptor. So yeah, I'm using Utah Raptor because that's what was used for the original Spino Raptor. Up next, let's move on to the Spinosaurus. So now Spinosaurus is a bit larger, so we're gonna throw that in there. Let's get a random color. There we go. Spinosaurus is being created. Let's get Spinosaurus. That'll probably take a little bit longer since it's a larger carnivore. Or Piscivore in this case. Alright, let's look at our Utah Raptors. Looking nice. Our, basically our first carnivore. In the meantime, let's check on our previously made creatures like our Stegoceratops. We got this Stegoceratops sound asleep. We got this one drinking water. We got one over here, another one sound asleep. And, okay, so three of them are asleep and one of them's drinking water. So let's release the Spinosaurus now. Probably the largest carnivore we have here until the Indominus Rex. Speaking of which, who do you guys think is bigger? Spinosaurus or Indominus Rex? I mean, I could always look it up, but whatever. We got the Spinosaurus anyway. Looking cool. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's move on to the Spinoraptor. Let's create the hybrid. Our first carnivore hybrid. One of the more dangerous carnivore hybrids. Or one of the more dangerous hybrids in general. There we go. There's Spinoraptor being cooked up. We've got Spinosaurus over here. In the meantime, let's check on our Ankylodocus. This guy's just wandering around, doing whatever. And this guy is, again, wandering around, doing whatever. All right, Spinoraptors are done. Let's release them. Our third hybrid. We did get a Lux version, which is awesome. All right, we made our third hybrid created. So for skins, we've got Gambian River Bass and Rana, Limpopo River Lux, 
and Death Valley blank pattern. Even some of the blank patterns look nice. Spinal Raptor, I swear, can rock any color. It really can. All right, so we got the trees. We've got everything we need. I should probably work on transport, but I really don't want to use the monorail, so instead we're going to use a zip line. All right, so this is our hybrid research facility so far. I'm thinking we might put the Spinoceratops over here or something because that's the next hybrid we're going to do after that because then all we'll need is basically Sinoceratops. We've already got Spinosaurus, so we're all set to go with that. So all we need now is basically Sinoceratops. All right, so that's gonna have to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, it would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.